For a brief moment last night, it looked as if the Cardinals would be without sophomore forward Juan Palacios. Louisville's second leading rebounder suffered a mild ankle sprain Tuesday and did not practice today. However, Palacios is expected to play Saturday against Kentucky. He's averaged 11 and a half points, seven rebounds during U of L's first six games. Now to college football, Southwestern Pulaski defensive end Josh Midden is more than just a diamond in the rough. Midden is a bona fide stud. After weighing offers from Virginia Tech, Auburn, Florida, Louisville, and Kentucky, Midden announced his choice today in Somerset. So I would like to offer my commitment to the University of Kentucky. Hey. I've got the chance to meet some of the the commits there and I really feel like they're they're the teammates that I want to play with for the next four or five years. Mitten is Kentucky's 27th verbal commitment for 2006. The 6 foot 4 235 pound prospect is considered the 24th best defensive end in the entire country and he's willing to do anything for the Cats, even redshirt. By doing this we're getting these young talent and and maybe we could even redshirt a lot of them too, including myself just a redshirt just so we could have have great teams in the future and very disciplined teams and, and work on getting that, that bowl game. Elsewhere around the Commonwealth, the Courier Journal is reporting Boyle County wideout Seth Tammy has committed to Western Kentucky. This past season, Seth, brother of UK sophomore tight end Jacob Tammy, had 69 receptions for over 1,200 yards and 16 touchdowns. Well, few high school students can consider themselves trailblazers, but if the Kentucky High School Athletic Association ever picks up hockey, the kids currently participating in the little-known Kentucky High School Hockey League will have paved the way. Justin Evans is wild about Lafayette football. Oh yeah, I used to pay myself for the football games. Evans just wishes his classmates could get wild about high school hockey. We want people to come, you know, like my good friends know we have a game but most of the school doesn't. One reason is because hockey isn't one of the 14 sports sanctioned by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association. Yeah, it's not a common sport here. And that's another reason. High school hockey's never been really done in Kentucky as an organized sport, so hopefully eventually it'll be a team sport rather than just a club sport. All the kids playing here are basically pioneers for the sport in the city of Lexington, in this state, in this area in general. The Generals are one of eight teams that make up the Kentucky High School Hockey League. The teams are split into two divisions. Tomorrow, the Generals will face interdivision rival Lexington Catholic. Let me tell you what, Catholics like Notre Dame in football. Their fans come out like in a frenzy, and they support them like crazy, so we really get up for the games against Lexington Catholic. We tied Catholic last time, and uh, hopefully it's not going to happen again. Everybody should come to the game. 545. You heard the man tomorrow at 545. The Ice Center is located on Eureka Springs Drive, right off Man of War between Richmond and Tate's Creek. Now, the Jack Kane play of the day. Hop on the bus to Orlando. The Pop Warner Football Championships, probably the best run the entire event on the entire event came on this kickoff return in the Pee Wee Division. Hawks versus Raiders. Check out the moves by number 38. He goes out, he goes in, back out, up the sideline, 77 yards. This young kid's got speed and vision. The Nana Cooley Hawks won the game 20 to nothing and uh, our play of the day. That's it for sports. We'll be